Hey there, my name is Nikas. I'm an alcoholic. And welcome to my continuing step study series of um, step five. Um, so in this whole series, what I'm doing is kind of just breaking down each step. Uh, but obviously each step is within the context of the other steps around it. So a little deeper into step five, but um, talk about everything else a little bit as well. <clears throat> so step five says, um, admitted to our God, admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. So I want to sort of define those words first, just so we're clear what, what, what this means. So it admitted means like to confess to be true, usually um, with hesitation. <laughs> so if I, I mean, admitting to myself, right? Um, between myself, God, and another human being, it's actually usually where there's the most... Um, sort of dynamic change is when I admit things to myself, when I'm actually, aha, I actually see the truth for myself. Um, that's, that's a big, it's a breakthrough. So, um, with, with myself, I admit stuff that I've seen in step four, and then I take this all to my, my sponsor and, 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 and I admit what I've seen to him or, you know, another human being. And, and, Hopefully you've got a good sponsor that will help you to um, s help you see the things that you didn't see within yourself when you went looking by yourself, because um, it's really hard to see self. Self has a really hard time seeing self in the mirror, but it's it's a lot easier if somebody can kind of reflect back to you the things in yourself that you had missed, and then you aha, wow, you kind of have this this aha moment. So. Between what I managed to see for myself and between what um, was assisted showing me, um, I have a pretty good picture of what, what it is that I look like. So, um, you know, as we talked about in a few steps before, there's there's this thing called a self, right? And it turns out that that self is the, is the problem here. And that's the, the self that creates all my problems. So I, I'm in, in four and five, I'm really trying to see what this self looks like. I'm trying to trying to build a, a mental picture, build a sort of a map of, of what this thing called self looks like. And so in step five, um, what's important is to, to um, f first define the words. So admitted, confess true to be, confess be true typically with um, some hesitation. Exact nature of our wrongs. Exact is precise or specific or um, explicit, right? So it's kind of drilling down to wh what what exactly is it? Like like pointing at the thing. Uh, and nature is um, the origin, the origination of something. Um, the in, the in inherent nature. You know the the what's behind it. You know what what's ground zero. And then wrongs is our wrongdoings or our um, our offenses. The things that we we do that usually involve other people that we you know we, we go around doing so so admitted the exact nature of our wrongs so and the exact nature of our wrongs of our actions is our thinking so we're really trying to get down to the causes and conditions which happens to be our thinking because i think xyz i would do xyz right if I didn't think X, Y, Z, I wouldn't do X, Y, Z. So, so really, you know, I don't have a drinking problem. I've got a thinking problem. Um, you know, you know, my, my, the problem resides in my head. So that's a really good place to go looking for the problem is within the thinking. So, and this step is specifically asking to get down to um, the exact nature. What's, what are the thoughts that are causing us to do the things? Um, so, so re reality, right? So I if I have thoughts that are other than reality, so um, if I think things should be the way I think that they are, but that's not how they are, um, that's untrue thinking, right? That's, that, that's, that's, that's a line of thinking, which um, sorry, fly. that's not true. Um, so so th that would actually be considered like a mis a misperception, right? So so if I'm going through life and I think that you should be doing something different and then I get angry at you because you're not doing what I think you should be doing, um, 
you're actually doing what you're doing. In my head, it should be different. In my head, I have a misperception. Uh, some other words for misperception are misunderstanding. I'm sort of misunderstanding reality. The other is a misrepresentation. So there's what's happening and there's my thoughts about what's happening. But if my thoughts about what's happening are mis misrepresenting what's actually happening, then the flaw, if I, if I wind this back, the flaw is not in what's happening. The flaw is in what I think should be happening. So everything's kind of coming down to a, a misperception. So quite often, the exact nature of our wrongs um, lies within a misperception. So, so in the fifth step, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find all the ways in which I am misperceiving reality and get down to those causes and conditions and admit those. Um, and then our wrongs basically are a result of, of those things. You know, I mean, I end up going out and doing things because I thought X, Y, Z. And so then I did. Sorry, phone call. Um, so step five is not asking us uh, to identify all the wrongs in our lives. Although that will come out. If you sit down and tell somebody your whole story, those things will come out. But this, the step is really specific about what it's asking. It's, it's asking for the exact nature of our wrongs. So it's asking for the thinking, the thought process behind that. And so it's very important that we get down to understanding what that thought process is. It's probably a good time to note that, um, that there's two types of thought processes that, that govern um, our thinking and, 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 and or, or mo mo motions in which we exist in life. And one motion is with love and the other is with fear. And um, everything can kind of be categorized into those two things. Um, love is, is a sense of openness. It's um, a welcoming, is uh, you know, an acceptance of what is. Um, it's like you're just wanting more of life. Um, it's basically you're just saying, yes, 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 yes to life. And the other <laughs> way of being is fear. Fear is no. <laughs> you know, where openness and is yes and fe fear is no. H hell no. I, I do not want that. I, I want less of that. Um, you can keep that. I'm going to go do something else. It's like, it, it, it's always like I'm trying to move away from. And with when I'm in the state of love, it's kind of I'm kind of moving towards life. But in fear, I'm kind of moving away from. I'm, I'm very guarded. Um, so it's also good to probably note that um, AA is, is not a self-help program, right? This, this isn't about helping you to build uh, a better self in this world, uh, a more noble self, a self that's going to make great decisions. Um, although great decisions may arise from a spiritual awakening, um, the, the whole goal here is to have a spiritual awakening. And, and in this spiritual awakening, you let go of all your uh, pre-understood ideas. So, and then you, you, you allow, you welcome, um, thy will be done, not mine. So it's, it's, I'm going to be letting go of this. It's, it's actually, it's not a self-help. It's actually like a self-destruction. And, and, and I don't mean that in, um, in the negative sense of the word. I mean that in the most positive sense of the word. It's like I'm, I'm going to be um, uh, dismantling this thing called a self. But in order to do that, uh, or in, in order to let God do that, I have to identify what the heck my self looks like. And, and so really that's what steps four and five are, is the identification of self um, steps. To really be able to see on a very deep level what in the heck do I look like? What is the landscape of this thing called myself? And each one of us is different. You know, this this landscape called self is landscape self called self is um is totally different for Nikas than it is for Jane than it is for Don than it is for Jack. It's totally totally different. Um, however, there's some really base similarities that most of the things of self are fears. But each one of us has had a different life. We have different fears, but we're not unique in the sense that that's what's running us is our fears. So it's getting down to those causes and conditions, right? So liquor is but a symptom, drug addiction is but a symptom, but there's the causes and conditions, which is the things that 
run us. And so steps four and five uh, is to help you get down to, to seeing the exact nature of our wrongs. <laughs> All right, be well.